Hey, eighth grade. Um, today is your second day of your essay, so you should be working on Percy Jackson essay day two. Yesterday, you looked at your introduction. Um, if you provided one of those, I gave you feedback. You should hit accept on all of those Google comments. Um, so I gave you some feedback. I gave you a grade, and now we're ready to move on. So today, you're focusing on your body paragraph number one, which is your epic hero traits. So at the end of your introduction, I asked you to choose three of the epic hero traits that best fit Percy. Um, so a lot of you picked things like goes on a long journey, defeats bad guys, has good on his side, has a guide. You could have picked a lot of different things. So depending on what you picked depends on what this next paragraph needs to be about. So each of your body paragraphs is going to be about one of your epic hero traits. So the first epic hero trait is going to go in the first body paragraph. On this page, I've outlined for you the different types of sentences that you need to have in your paragraph. Essentially, it's just a repeat over and over again. So your topic sentence is labeled. All right, here's your sentence starter. Percy Jackson displayed the epic hero trait of going on a long journey. Period. That's your first sentence. Check done. Your next sentence is an example from the text. So by example, I mean the summary information. So Percy showed this trait when he goes to the Oracle and learns he must go west. In the text, it says direct quotation. So this is where you need your book. If you left your book at school or you don't know where it is or you don't know what you're doing, I have provided a PDF copy of the book. Okay, it's about four to five pages off the, the actual text because um, it has this weird spacing. But the best way you can find what you're looking for is to type um, control F, which is like the find feature. And you just type a keyword for what you're looking for. So if you're looking for the part with the minotaur, you type in minotaur. And look, it says there's 28 times that the text says Minotaur. And so you can just scroll through them and see what you're looking for. Um, or maybe you're looking for the Oracle for when Percy goes on his long journey. And so we'll look for the Oracle. And that should probably be around here somewhere. So, um, on page 146, like it says, the rasping voice of the oracle, you shall go west and face the god who has turned. So that tells us that Percy goes on a long journey. So then you want to connect your evidence to the trait. Okay, so this shows that Percy goes on a long journey, right? We put the trait back in here because west is really far for Percy. Percy lives in New York. So if Percy has to go west, that means he has to travel really far away. Inference that readers can make. So this is what we learn about Percy as a person. Like we're gonna use an adjective to describe who he is or what kind of person he is becoming. So you have heroic character traits on notebook page 34.1. If you don't have your notebook with you or you don't have those notes, I have, um, linked here, these two PDF characteristics list. So these are the ones, the same ones that you have in your notes are here for you. Or you can just use this list of character traits. It has very many. Um, and if none of these words are what you want, just Google character traits and Google will give you thousands and thousands and thousands of character traits. And then you just need to because. So this shows that Percy is brave because Percy is strong because. Hang on a second, please. So the next thing that you're going to do in the last couple sentences are just repetitive, right? So you're just going to repeat what you've already done. You're just going to find another example of when Percy goes on a long journey. You're going to have another piece of textual evidence and choose a different 
characteristic. And then finally, in conclusion, Percy Jackson goes on a long journey. So here is my paragraph um, as a whole. Again, you have access to my example essay. Your essay should not look the same as mine. Yeah, we can have some of the same pieces of textual evidence, but again, you should not just be copying and pasting what I've written. That's called plagiarism. I also know what I've written, so please just don't don't copy. Um, again, my paragraph is exemplar. It's it is it is big. Okay, yours does not have to be this big, but you should go through the motion motions and you should complete as many of the sentences as possible. And so here's the really great thing is that if you do this once today, you're going to be set for tomorrow because tomorrow you're going to do the exact same organizer, but you're just going to choose a different trait and we'll get there tomorrow. But that's kind of like your preview um, of where we are. Well, your update on where we are and where we're headed. So tomorrow you're going to use your second body paragraph and your second epic hero trait. If you please, please, please don't hesitate to email me, um, join our video chat. It's from one to two. I had a lot of really good conversations and questions today. And um, Ms. Miller is there, so I, she can help you find pages. I can help you find pages, anything that you need. Um, don't forget to attach and submit to Google Classroom so I can give you a grade. The body paragraphs take me a little bit longer to get through, so I'm hoping to have them done for you by one o'clock tomorrow before we meet. Um, but you might have to give me a little bit of leeway. It's going to depend on my monster upstairs. So again, please, please, please email with questions, comments, concerns, conundrums, or as always, cards of outrage. See you tomorrow.